sort of more confidence in those skills. And um, I just also wanted to take a moment just to recognize the amount of work that uh, Dr. Neil Dilworth put together to try and gather sort of all the key important questions that I think the sport and exercise medicine community in Toronto and, and sort of near Toronto have been asking. These are all the questions that I think have been really lighting up our conversations in the group that Neil hosts. And um, as a result, I think it's, you know, I'm really excited by the lineup of topics as well as the speakers that we're going to have today. So, um, so thank you very much, Neil. Really, really, really uh, excited to, to be doing this again. Um, so today we, we have a pretty, we have a really solid lineup of speakers that kind of goes a broad, um, I guess most of the topics are things that we want to, we want to update on. So SCAT 6 with Dr. Jim New to start off with, and then moving on to a lot of different topics and different ways of, uh, talking about injections. Um, cause that's certainly a procedure that in order to be able to get good at, obviously you need to know how to understand the surface anatomy and landmark, know what to inject and how, and then from there we can build the base and we have some uh, great speakers also to kind of increase our appreciation of the ability to do it under ultrasound guidance. And then have a panel of um, the kind of broad disciplines of sports medicine including um, a sport orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Duong Nguyen, the uh, head of MSK Radiology at Mount Sinai with uh, Bob Bleakney, um, a um, really um, a physiatrist in uh, Dr. Michael Catapano, an interventional physiatrist, and then uh, Dr. Andy Jones, who's one of our own faculty, who um, was the first uh, RMSK certified faculty. So that's a... Uh, uh, I guess a demonstration of competence that you have to achieve in the U.S. to demonstrate your skill in MSK ultrasound. So really a good panel and um, lots of hands-on sessions in the afternoon to practice sort of emergency skills. So looking forward to getting started with all of you guys today. It uh, should be packed and uh, I guess I'll pass it back to Neil just to move on to our next part. Oh, and guys, for sure. One of the things that we really need to help us continue to do this and to, you know, be able to improve on everything that we're doing. If you if you don't mind, before you leave, all of you guys just to fill out the evaluations. Absolutely, yeah, we'll get those uh, we'll get those out to you. Uh, we got them up here. Um, so uh, there's also a, kind of part of an experiment today. <laughs> so today, one of the things we we're trying to add, we we're always trying to add to simulation, as Mark was saying for sports and exercise medicine and one of the things uh, that's really come up uh, in the last year is the increased number of physicians that are not just doing injections but have interest in ultrasound guided injections so um, we came up with a, a model to try and simulate that by uh, going to some uh, unusual resources uh, so what we've done is we've actually home cooked some ballistics gel um, which is using a gelatin product uh, with hydrogen peroxide, so it's not edible, okay? So no, you're not gonna be taking these home to eat, but uh, what it does allow you to do, it allows you to see where the, the needle is going in, um, but it also allows uh, ultrasound guidance to, do, to identify the needle, so you can essentially practice uh, needle trajectory with ultrasound guidance today. Um, and uh, thank you very much to Wes, who helped cook the last, last batch <laughs> last night in my parents' kitchen. Uh, <laughs> It was voluntary. Uh, so, yeah, I think that's good. 